This is InfoLive TV headline news, January 3rd. I'm Margot Duskevich. Hezbollah is willing to negotiate the return of the remains of Israeli soldiers killed in Lebanon. Sheikh Hassan Nasrallah said Wednesday night in a televised speech that was broadcasted on the Lebanese television. Nasrallah refused to elaborate or stipulate whether the remains were those of IDF reserve Ehud Goldwasser and Eldad Regev, who have been held captive by Hezbollah since July 2006. Jerusalem police on Wednesday revealed details of Operation Clear Skies, the security measures to be taken during the visit of U.S. President George Bush. Some of the main streets in Jerusalem will be closed to traffic and parking forbidden. On arrival at Ben Gurion Airport, the U.S. President will be flown by helicopter to Jerusalem and will not require police to seal off Highway 1, the main road between Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Government leaders should be hanged for negotiating with the Palestinians, Rabbi Shalom Dov Wolpe told an audience of rabbis in Tel Aviv Wednesday night. In the Channel One report, Wolpe called Prime Minister Olmert a traitor who gives the Nazis weapons and money. Olmert's punishment, the punishment of Chaim Ramon, and the punishment of Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni, and all those people like Defense Minister Hud Barak, they should be hanged from the gallows, he said. The army is checking a report by the Fatah al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade, who claim Wednesday night they had fired a rocket from the West Bank towards the Israeli community of Shaked. In its summary of terrorist activities for 2007, the Shin Bet noted that there are constant attempts by terror organizations to assist West Bank cells to acquire rocket capability. The idea failed to kill a Palestinian resistance committee commander who was wounded in an Air Force strike on Wednesday night as he drove in his car in northern Gaza. Two others were wounded in the strike. Meanwhile, on Wednesday, seven armed Palestinian members of Hamas, the Popular Resistance Committee in Fatah, were killed in a series of strikes launched by the IDF from the ground and in the air. 63% of Israelis planned to go on vacation in 2008, down from 70% during 2007, according to a recent survey prepared for the 14th International Mediterranean Tourism Market to be held in Tel Aviv in February. One out of four Israelis planned to vacate abroad, 18% planned to vacate in Israel. More than 30 countries are expected to participate in this year's fair. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, recognizing the needs of the Israeli Arab sector, InfoLive TV attends a conference. And the Ramat Gun Safari celebrates a new arrival, De Niro, the newborn baby giraffe. That's all for InfoLive TV. Wishing you a good day from Jerusalem. Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. 
Today, the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access infolive.tv.